Hey, beautiful people, what's going on? Um, check this out. Uh, OBS, in the upcoming OBS uh, 26, there's, at the time of recording, there's not even a release candidate out. They're adding support for RN noise. I just wanted to take the Pepsi challenge. I want to see how it sounds and how it works. And against my better judgment, I'm going to record it and put it on YouTube so people can go, you should do this and you've did that wrong. I'm just doing this for my own test and sharing it. So what you're seeing is the left screen. I'm going to be zooming around. We're tied into our audio processing box. It's running on door. It's tied in. You can slide over here and see it's coming over the fiber optic network into this box and OBS through NetJack, all that fun stuff on the strip. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this off. Reasonably quiet. Um, considering there's five PCs running in the studio and they're all around me because I have to be able to reach them all. But uh, let's pull off the noise repellent and you can pull the gate off. Now you can hear the background noise just from the PC fans and um, things like um, clicking noise. Let's pull the compressor off. Things are going to get quiet. So let's let's bring that back up to a reasonable level. Maybe a little bit more. Check one, two, check one, two. Okay, that's roughly where we were at before. And we will keep going. We will take off the de-esser. Snake jazz. And we will remove the limiter. So this is effectively just this microphone going into a Mark of the Unicorn 828 MK2 into this box and being sent to the box you're seeing at 48K 32-bit float all the way to the recording. Now, um, dip, dip. I've totally planned this out. Absolutely. I have a science fan. I do. It's pink. Um, it's been scientifically proven that pink is the loudest of all fans. This is the Opolar fan. I have a couple of these in the studio. I saw that booth junkie. It's like, these are very quiet. I bought them. They're very quiet. They will keep you from passing out because it can get wicked hot. And also I have a, if you've ever set up a little podcasting environment, you'll know even with the central cooling on, You'll still melt, so I installed one of the wall units. I'll go cut that on in a second. But let's add... Well, let's see what it sounds like without the filter. So we have two settings. And I'm going to simulate something I've actually used. You know, I'm not going to have a mariachi band behind me going, Hey, look what it can do. But... You can't even hear these. You know that? Now... This is the golden age, um, the D2, totally had to read that. This is a great microphone. It's not really picking up anything, but maybe if I wanted to have it blowing on me, I don't know. That's not going to make too much racket. I will play with that in a second. Okay. What do we need to do? We need to add... The filter. How do we add the filter? It's pretty simple. You'll see uh, my audio pack there is NetVin. That does make a little bit of noise. I'm going to cut that off just for a second because that's getting on my nerves. I'm going to right click. Um, well, I guess I could use the new tabs in the interface. We could go to filters. Click that. We're going to add noise suppression. And we have the option for speaks, which that's been there. But now we have, see, I don't have an easy way to enable and disable that. But you can see it's dropped. Um, what am I doing? On a K20 meter, I'm at about negative 40, which is very high. But that's perceived loudness. That's not a... Um, DB meter, but on OBS, it appears to be a bit more quiet, as in none. Let's see if that drops all the way down. That's not bad. 
That's not bad. Let's give it some rocket to play with. Should I put this on high? Maybe I should put it on high. I'm sure somebody's screaming in the comments now, do this, do that, but I'm not. I'm just playing around. Deal with it. Okay, that's the fan on higher than I would normally want, but it's blowing on me. I'm getting a breeze. It's not blowing directly into the mic, but you can kind of see if I tilted it up. So let's go to filters and let's remove it. So what's it? That's definitely got some racket to it, doesn't it? Then Yeah, I can hear that, so let's go ahead and kick the noise suppression back on. Now the big thing is what do you sound like with that enabled? Hmm. Fair enough. I'll find out. I don't have a way to monitor it after because I do all my monitoring over here. Then we just send out the final mix to OBS. So I'm genuinely curious as to what this is going to sound like. But I'm going to cut on the window unit, which I guess that would be real enough. I would never have that running while we were recording, but I'm going to cut that thing on. So... I'm not going to threaten to blow out your ears or anything. I'll go back and smash it down if it's way too loud. But let's pull off noise suppression like so. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, as you might notice, the um, window unit is on. Let's see what we're getting. Yeah, that, that's coming up to um, like 40, minus 40 dB. That's, that's a bit much. Let me take a look. Um, let me put the input meter. Yeah, that's peaking somewhere around 30. That's kind of loud, but um, let's throw the noise filter on and we will find out what does that sound like. Noise suppression. Okay, just by looking at it, that dropped everything down to not. That's okay. It's kind of interesting. Again, I don't know what it sounds like. Um, and welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else. I even get a hell of a sticker. Look at that. Yay, die cut. Merchandising. Commercial. I don't know. Marketing. Go buy one. Maybe that sounded okay. I don't know, but it's there. Um, we're doing this on Linux, just out of curiosity. Uh, you do have to build the uh, RN noise. There'll be a link to the GitHub. It's relatively straightforward. Do a system install and just uh, pull off master from OBS. Uh, there's a guide I have on linuxgamecast.com for building OBS with a browser source under Linux. But those are two things you're definitely going to be seeing in, I'm going to assume, in OBS 26. So there's that. Um, neat. I just want to try this out. Hopefully that was interesting or possibly informative. I don't know. Let's pull off the noise suppression again. Alright, there's that, and let me put my noise repellent on. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of interesting. You know what, let's, let's give it a fair test. Um, 
I can bring this over here. This is uh, noise repellent that I currently use, but it is not uh, set because our end noise is just doing it adaptive. Uh, let's clear that profile and... Get that. And that's set up. Like that, this is way too brutal. I can, I, I can hear this in the, um, just background. I wouldn't try to, I would not ask this much from noise repellent, but we're recording podcasts. So, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Um, you know what? Let, let's feed it a full. Before we get out of here, I'm going to see if I can get the trim back to zero. So, okay, now we have the gate. Now we have compression back. Let's put the DSR in limiter. If we, we want to have, have fun, fun, we can, we can add, add the, the delay. delay. No, let's not do that. Now you really get the idea of, you know, going from quiet to loud because we have a gate set up so let's add just one last time and i swear i'll be i'll be done you'll be done with me um no expression okay this is with a full stack enabled and we're in noise running again i'm going to be very curious to see what this sounds like all right uh that was a just a silly experiment uh no science was harmed during the production of this video. Cool. All right. Um, come check out some of the stuff we do at LinuxGameCast.com. I do a lot of audio video stuff with Linux. Also, we occasionally talk about Linux gaming and play that um, stuff. It's terrifying. Booga booga. All right. Bye-bye.